Hey guys, Alyssa Forever here. Hey guys, Alyssa Forever here. Oh wait, she doesn't use women. Hey guys, Alyssa Forever here. Oh, that was nasty. Hey guys, Alyssa Forever here. Hey guys, Alyssa Forever here. Oh damn, sorry. Hey guys, Alyssa Forever here. She just wanna go back to the future, so I brought that color DeLorean. 21 minutes until I got go, so I told that girl I'm gonna slaughter it. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing the I Try Following Alyssa Forever's makeup routine. I've been seeing this video all over YouTube recently and everyone's been doing all these people like James Charles, Manny Amue, and Nikki Tutorials, everybody like that, but nobody is doing one of my fave YouTubers, Alyssa Forever, so I was like, if I'm going to do this video, I would do Alyssa because she's my fave. Anyway, if you don't know who I am, welcome to my channel. I'm Amber Kennedy. I do fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. They're super fun. They're super poppin'. They're super lit. You should definitely subscribe because if you're not subscribed, what do you do? You should definitely subscribe and help your girl out because she's trying to get a thousand subscribers. And I'd really appreciate it. And I'd be so happy if I can hit a thousand really soon. So if you would like to help me out, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And make sure you guys hit that thumbs up for me because I would really appreciate it. And let's stop rambling and let's get into this video. We're going with the simple everyday Instagram simple everyday makeup Instagram body tutorial because this has literally been one of my favorite videos that she's ever done. Like I watched this video religiously. Like it used to be my favorite thing to watch. <laughs> Bye. Okay, well we don't have time for that. So we're just gonna go straight into this. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to walk you guys through my everyday makeup routine. I don't wear makeup, what I would do, I'm calling this my Instagram baddie makeup just because a lot of times on Instagram you'll see similar looks to this, very simple, straight to the point makeup, nothing extravagant, so yeah. Let's just get right into this tutorial. I'm starting off with a plain, clean face and taking this Bliss my Fabulous face is clean. Day Eye Cream. Literally, this is my holy cream. Okay, well I don't have that. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have any of these products in this video, so let's just put that out right now, okay? Grail, one of my holy grails. I love to apply this before I apply my concealer because it really moisturizes under my eyes so that I don't get that creasing. I have used a lot of different eye creams. Okay, so basically she's just putting eye cream on before you guys, you know. I don't have that. I'm just going to go on with my Pond's Rejuvenous Anti-Wrinkle Cream and I'm going to put that under my eyes because I don't got that. Y'all got that? I don't got that. take my body brown vitamin enriched face base this is just my you know my moisture well I don't have that either so we're gonna go in with my philosophy hope to renew in a jar moisturizer which is fine though because this is just moisturizer you guys like if y'all gonna get mad because I don't have all this stuff do you have it okay no I just I already can tell by already by for this video we're just gonna be um Doing her techniques because I'm pretty sure I don't have most of these products that she's gonna be using. So if you're mad, you can leave now. Okay. All right, so this isn't a primer or anything. I'm just showing you guys how I moisturize my face to get ready for my makeup. And then my Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer just oh. to make sure my lips ain't looking all dry. I would hate to offend anyone with the ashiness of my lips. And then I already put some chapstick on. I'm not about to go walk over there all the way to my desk, so I'm not doing that. So let's get into it. To prime my face, I'm taking this Benefit The Pore Professional Matte Rescue. This is my first time using it. It has like a gel consistency. It's very smooth. It's not like a regular primer, but I'm really liking it so far. Well, I don't like that primer. I don't like Benefit Professional at all. It low-key breaks me out. No shade, no tea. So we're just going to go on with my Fenty Beauty Mattifying Primer. It does the same thing. And yeah, because I'm not trying to break out any more than I am already. So... And then I like to take my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pore Loose Powder and put that down after my primer. I like to make sure that I'm putting this everywhere that I have big old pores. That's like my biggest thing when doing my makeup. I want to target the areas that bother me the most and it happens to be my pores. So that's why I'm spending so much time using a primer and then this powder just to get rid of these dang pores, okay? Sips tea. 
Okay, well, I don't have that, but um, I'm trying to think. I'll be right back. So I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Micro Finishing Powder, just like it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go in with that. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe um, Beauty Blender and just put that places that she did. I'm using this Pure Minerals 4-in-1 Liquid Foundation in the color Medium Dark. This is my first time actually using the product. I've had it for months, but I just decided to whip it out and test it out today. And to be honest with you, this is so bad. I don't have any of the freaking products, but I am, um, I'm looking up right now the Perform one, and basically, like, I was gonna use my well basically because I know she loves this foundation uh, studio skin smashbox I was just gonna go in with that one but I forgot how much my skin has lightened up recently like not recently but over time my skin has lightened up like crazy and I forgot that I just don't wear the same foundation shades anymore like this is my studio skin can we please I mean maybe on the camera it looks almost the same but it's too dark and I'm not gonna go in with it but the closest foundation that is like the pearl one is my Lancome Tint Idol. I'm just gonna go in with this one. It's really bad. This is going really bad. But you know, we're still doing a technique. It's okay, okay? Beauty Blender and just go over. So now that my uh, foundation is more freaking done, it looks pretty good. I'm here for it. I'm not even gonna lie with y'all. So I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Powder Duo in the color dark brown. I just used the lighter side of this and my leaf fill in my brows. And then I'm gonna- Okay, well, this is what I'm worried about because I have horrible brows. Like, they have no shape as you guys can see. And Alyssa's are like, shapes and then she's going on powder i use pomades and pencils but um i'm just gonna go on with my forever 21 eyebrow kit this is like a whole freaking dupe for the anastasia one it's so bomb i love it i have the powder one somewhere but i don't feel like finding it um i like this one better so i'm just gonna try to do this and my eyebrows look horrible guys it's not me Okay, so I think this is the best I can do. I'm honestly about to cry because this is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. This is just not cute. I just feel so ugly. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. My MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the color NC30. No! So my brows. Now I know I'm looking a little bit crazy right now, but you know, just let me come into form. Let me get in formation before you set your little judgments, okay? And then I'm just gonna take a brush and blend that out. I really take my time with the blend because I don't want to be looking crazy. I don't want to have white. Okay, she just blended. White, white. Oh, you guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have that brush. I'm gonna get it after I go in with this one first, though. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia concealer. Um, it's just like that one. Um, but I just don't have it in the correct shade right now, and I'm not trying to look crazy. So we're just gonna go in and try to do this i'm really scared i actually hate concealing concealer with um on top of my foundation because i just don't <sighs> but i'm sure it'll make it look a lot better so Oh, this is what I'm looking like. Don't roast me. I know I look a little crazy or whatever. Ew, I think my brows look absolutely awful. Let's just get... So, it's like really hard for me. Like, I'm sure it's not that bad. I'm just so freaking dramatic. Ugh. Okay, so, now we gotta blend this in. I mean, we could go outside with this casual sleigh now. It's easy. But we're just gonna keep going because I'm gonna cry. 
And this video is just not going to finish if I don't... I don't know how you people do your freaking eyebrows after your concealer. It just doesn't make sense to me and I don't like it. So... And if I can't really do my best blend with the brush, I'll take my beauty blender just to kind of, you know, blend it all together. I'm going to take my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer in the color W45 and just put this under my eyes to get rid of them dark circles. And So I don't have that, like everything else in this video. So I'm just going to go on my LA Girl Pro Concealer. It has the same little brush. So, you know, it's the same. Okay. Good, nice, healthy look. Notice how I didn't put the product directly underneath my eye where those creases usually okay. occur. I like kind of blend the excess upward because when you put the product directly there, it kind of cakes up and that's what causes those under eye creases. And I also like to take some of the excess. Okay, so, so I did my concealer like hers and I'm gonna blend up where the creases are. And then put some on my lid, like she said. I don't know about this. It just, I don't know, my skin feels really dry right now. It's like harder to blend it out. It could be just be me being dramatic, as usual. Um, but like under my eyes where I put the powder at, it definitely feels wet. Um, mm. Still on the beauty blender and just work that onto my actual eyelid. This is just gonna give my eyelids a solid color and not look all veiny and weird. And then stuff is kind of bottom though. Now I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Cafe. I'm putting this on top of where I put the NYX because the NYX just. I did want to go try that stuff, but they just didn't have my skin color. Like it literally was like the same color as my face. So I'm just gonna go in with my KKW Beauty Contour Sticks because. The formula is like the closest to this one. I could do my Fenty Beauty one, but that one is a little bit more like drying. This one's way more creamier, which the NYX one is. So I'm just gonna go in with that one. Hey, I hope it don't break on us while we're trying to do it. I mean, I'm pretty sure it will because it breaks every single time, but. Uh, told you. Kim's contour stick could be so much better. It just didn't break. You know? Because I really do like the formula. Uh -uh. I'm putting this on top of where I put the NYX because the NYX just wasn't dark enough for what I'm trying to do here. So, well, so this we don't have that problem because mine is dark enough. So we're just going to skip that because I don't have to do that. Taking my Laura Mercier translucent oh, powder. Oh, okay. I have that. Finally. But I don't feel like going to get Give me a second. So, to set everything in place, I got and that. You know what I do? I do my little ritual. Ritual. I can't even say it. Ritual. My ritual, where I put the powder under my eye first. Like all the light areas, I like to put the powder on first, and then I go to the dark areas. I don't know. I've said it before. I don't know why I do it like that, but it works for me. I like to use the beauty blender to apply my translucent powder, just because I feel oh like. Oh my gosh! This is a lot of powder. Now we're gonna go back in with the brow powder and I think I'm going with the darker one this time to make it bold like she said. Let's meet into it. Moving on to my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I like to apply this to my brows, you guys know. Every Instagram baddie has the bombest brows you've ever seen and this is how I- Well this girl don't because my eyebrows looking nasty, but I'm going to get my L'Oreal Telescopic because I do like doing this and I did get this from her, so I'm going to get mine. Now I'm going to take this ColourPop K-Pop in the color Flushed and use it. So because I can't find mine, I'm just going to go in with this 
blush from MAC in the shade Sunbass. Oh, I hate blush, you guys. I hate it. As a blush, I've been using this color for my blush a lot lately. I really like it. And for today's highlight, I'm using this Laura Geller Gilded Honey. And I'm slow down. I keep telling her to slow down like it's her fault, but it's me because I keep forgetting not to um, press the um, pause button. And then she's going in with the Laura Geller, and I don't have mine because someone literally stole mine, which I'm not going to get into. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade Molten Gold because it's super similar. It looks just like it. Pick up, maybe. Oh, my. Ooh, <laughs> color. Look at that motherfucker highlight, y'all. place I'm taking this Scandinavia makeup finishing spray and just spraying it all up and over everything oh she and does that before the lashes okay so we're gonna spritz our face before we put on our lashes continuous setting spray and spray my face let me protect my edges oh, okay. get the lashes taking these lily lashes in the style Miami and just you guys are gonna see how the lashes just are everything. They really pull your whole This is awkward. I don't have those either. So basically I don't have anything in this freaking tutorial. But freaking Laura Mercier. Okay, so now that I have my lashes on, we're just gonna get right into it. I low-key think these look really good. Like if you look at hers, they look kind of similar. And that's what I really like about this look. There's really not much to it but your foundation. Make sure the brows are popping and lashes popping. That's really all you need. True. Girl. As much as I like Felt and then so I'm out of my this element. Ico skinny brush mascara. It was really easy. My lower lashes. Ooh, I haven't. I don't really do my lower lashes. I'm not gonna lie, I just don't do them because my lower lashes are pretty long and they like um they just oh, it's just not a good time. So I'm pretty sure she was caught goes back in and blends her normal lashes with the mascara. So I'm just going to do that because I'm pretty sure she does. This opens up my eyes a little bit, gives me a little bit more of a completed look. And then I'm also going to take some and put some on my top lashes just to blend my real lashes Hold with the fake lashes. I don't take the mascara all the way to the ends. Moving on to lips, I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NC35. Okay, so she's going to go back in. With her concealer, I'm going to one of my NARS concealer because um, my concealer from Anastasia is too cream like. And then. And putting this all on my lips. And then I'm going to take a little bit. Okay. The translucent powder and just put that right on top to set that in place. Oh, okay, cool. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love the way the, my makeup came out. Make sure you guys comment down below and let me know how you guys think I did. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And make sure you guys hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I post. And make sure you guys follow all my socials, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat. They're going to be all down below in the description bar. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bounces in my motherfucking bench. Diamonds on a young nigga dance. Yeah, just drop some banjos on some glass. Yeah, just drop your bitch on man that hoe so nasty. Huh? All about that paper, can't miss a beat. Yeah.